In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add an effect to a scene using Harmony Premium. So unlike the other two versions, Harmony Premium uh, adds effects only through the node view. So to find the node I want, I'm going to go to the node library. And as you actually don't have it up, so I'm going to go ahead and add that view. And I'll hit the plus and go to the node library. Once in the node library, they actually have a handy search bar. I'm going to type in blur. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the radial blur, because that's the type of blur that I want. I'm going to drag it from the library to the node view. I'm just going to move this over so we can take a look here. In the node view, I'm going to put this between the bush element and the composite element. So to do that, I'm going to hold on to the blur and using the Alt key, I'm going to drag it between the, on the, along the line until it actually connects. And then I'm going to release the mouse button. And now the blur is actually attached and associated with the bush. So if I go to timeline and click on the blur and hit center on selection, I can see that the blur is there with the mountain bush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to turn up the blur to that. And to do that, I need to go to my layer properties, which I'll go ahead and add up here. There we go. And I can see that I'm in the bush, la the bushes layer properties. And I can see that the radius is set to zero. So there's actually no blur on this bush whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that up a little bit. Turn that up to, let's go with four. I'm not going to see anything here. And that's because we're in the OpenGL and things like effects will not show up in that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this forward so that it's more in the camera view. And I'm going to go to render mode, same like we did with the color card. And I can see here that that bush just turned blurry. I can actually go ahead and turn that back down again to show the difference. I can turn it back down to zero, and now it's straight uh, clear without any blurness whatsoever. And what's also cool about effects is you can actually animate them. So I'm going to go to the beginning of my camera move back here. Let's get all of this in the scene here. Move this back over. Here we go. So you can barely see my bush right here. I'm actually going to turn that up at least to, let's go with two. I can type it in or I can use the arrows. So now my bush is a little bit blurry. And I'm going to make a keyframe right there using F6. And I'm going to go down to 110 and make another keyframe using F6. I'm going to turn that blurriness up. Now it's grayed out, and that's because it wants me to use the function. And the function is how you animate uh, effects. And we're going to have the uh, editor show up. And so I'm going to take this from 2. I'm actually going to click on that dot. This is 2 for the function value, which is the blurriness. And up here is my timeline. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can get a better view of my numbers. You can actually use the spacebar to pan around in this as well. I'm going to drag this from 2 up to 5. And you can see I can also actually just type in 5 up here if I didn't want to actually drag it and get the exact number. So I can actually... If I move this aside, I can go up and down my timeline view. And I can see that the bush actually does get blurrier the closer to 110 we get. And I can actually see the movement also in my editor. So I can leave the editor up if I want to keep poking around at it and uh, finesse it into, a, uh, into an effect the way I want it to look. With that done, I can go ahead and close this. Now that I have that finished, I can actually look at this without rendering out a final and a final vi uh, video and producing an, a new file by using this right here, which is render and play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small selection of my frames to view. I'm going to start at frame 70 and stop at frame 110. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit render and play. I'm just going to take a moment to render.
And then when you're when the Tomb Boom Harmony Play module, which is actually an entirely separate window, when that comes up, it's going to render again. It's going to play through and render it. And then you can actually play. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to loop and hit the play button. And now I actually haven't created a new uh, .mov file or anything. This is just playing from the Harmony files that it rendered. And I can see my bush, and I can see it getting blurry, and I can see my camera move. And that is how you add an effect to the premium version of Harmony.